What's going on guys, Tosker here, and in this video I'm going to do a little review on the Byte Scout Generator and Reader SDKs. We are going to move into a little tutorial, but first I want to give the basic idea of what this component is. Now here is a little application that I threw together, and this is actually what uh, kind of what we're going to make in the tutorial portion. But first I'm going to run it. And basically what we have here is we have a wide variety of um, barcode types that we can create. In this example, I'm using code 128, but we'll look into further ones later on. But they supply a control for WPF, WinForms, and ASP.NET, so you can easily generate barcodes. Uh, you don't just have to get a bunch of classes and bring them all together and generate the barcodes. Uh, you simply just use their control and you're almost ready to go. Now here, for example, this is code 128, and I can just simply type in a certain value to this box, and given that I have bound to a view model I created, it'll simply update the image here. You can also export these as images and PDFs, and we can also generate them to documents. So I'll create, let's say I want the generated barcodes to start at the value of 700 and increment. I can simply type in 700 here, and I'll generate the document. Mind you, this should be multi-threaded, but this is an example. So the application will freeze up just for a second, and now we're done. Now, I already exported the images and the PDF, so we're going to close out of here real fast. I'm going to go into my desktop here, and these are the images that I created earlier. Let me get these out of the way. Sorry, that was for the Patreon I have there. Um, and so basically, I have here an image that was created earlier, and I can just generate that. And I can also open it up into a PDF that I have here. Let us also not forget that we generated a bunch of barcodes to our Word document, which I had outputted here in the debug. So if I double click our output, zoom in a little, we see now from when I generated earlier from 700, I created seven different barcodes um, and exported them into this Word document. You can also do this with Excel and Microsoft uh, Access. Now these are all just one click features. These are built into the control. So we'll go back to the source code real quick. And we're gonna take a look at the code behind of this window. And here I just created a little save dialog control um, just to make this a little easier. But basically this one line right here is all I needed. Let me zoom in a bit. This is all I needed to do. I needed to call the control, save image, and give it a path. And I can do that as PDF, TIFF images, uh, JPEGs, etc. Now to give you guys a better idea, I threw in uh, some WinForm applications just because it was quicker to develop. And I'm going to debug this. And now we're going to get a better idea on what we can actually accomplish. So here I have a bunch of symbologies. These are pretty much all the ones they offer here. And we're going to create, let's say, a QR code. Those are actually a little more interesting. These are 2D barcodes, which it also supports. It supports both uh, linear and 2D barcodes. And we're going to find the QR code here. We see it generates it for us. Now, as I go over here to the value, you can see as we update it, the control will update its image. Um, this is because this is an actual WinForm control similar to the WPF. It has features such as auto fit. So I click that and it'll fit to the control and display caption for the QR code, for example, and it'll display what the value of this is. Now I can simply export this right here. I can hit export, go to my desktop, and I could save this as, let's say, QR code. And I can save that. We'll minimize real quick. And here I have the QR code I just generated. Going back to Visual Studio though, and opening up our debug, we can also change things like its foreground. So I could set the foreground to blue. I could set its background to yellow. Another thing I really like about this control is when you're working with barcodes, you don't always actually understand some of your limitations or their requirements. Well, with the bar, uh, the Byte Scout barcode control here, it actually has a method in which you can call to return a string description of exactly what you need. 
It also supplies supplementary barcode values um, as well. Now you notice here, if I go to symbology, as I change it, the description updates as well. This is all provided in the control. I actually had to do very little on my own part other than plug it all in and have it work. For example, here in our code behind for the description text box that I had, all I had to do was call the barcode control and say get value description and give it my symbology type. And it returns the actual string for that description. And I do the same for supplementary value descriptions. For setting the value, I just have to get the control, call the value, set it to the text of my value box, and it'll set the value of the barcode control. What I find even more amazing is as we scroll down here to the export button, if I wanted to save it as an image or a PDF, literally this is the only line of code I need, other than of course the little dialogue for getting the path. I just simply call the barcode control, save image, provide its path as well as the auto fit and caption are also just as easy. So this is pretty much one of the basic things I really love about this component is you don't have to know much about barcodes to actually use it. Um, you just simply download and install their SDK and you put in the control and you plug and play. Now this isn't the only interesting that they have. They also have the barcode reader SDK, which we have here. So I'll debug this as well. We'll take a little look. So here with the Byte Scout reader, we simply just open up a image path. For example, the QR code I created earlier. I can select find barcodes and we'll see pretty quickly. Uh, I load it over here into a list. And as I click it, it provides me with the value and the type of barcode it found. I can do this with all sorts of barcodes here. We'll find one I created earlier, the code 128. I can click find barcodes, loads it into my list, and here I am provided the value and the type as well. Now taking a look at the reader code behind, uh, when we install the SDK, we simply create a barcode reader and they have object models called found barcodes. So in this case, I created an, an array and I also created one for the selected in our list box. Go down here to our constructor and we see our barcode reader, we can actually set uh, barcodes to find. So in this case, for the example, I set it to code 128 and QR code. Now you can simply tell it to find all in any barcodes, um, but you will obviously suffer some performance issues doing that. Now as for reading, if we go down here to the scan clicked, all I had to do was to clear out my list set the barcode array to the barcode reader, and I simply use the controls read from. Now this is built into the control. All I had to do was simply provide it with a barcode bitmap, which on the open clicked here, I simply just created from opening the image. And then as we select in our list box here, all I had to do was find the barcode at the selected index, and I could simply get the, bar, the found barcode object here, value and type. So just like the Byte Scout generator, basically it's plug and play. Now, another thing I really loved about the Byte Scout SDK is it actually on installation provides me with massive documentation to start playing around with it. For example, it installs a dashboard. You don't have to use the dashboard. They supply all this documentation on their website as well. But I like the fact that I have an offline option. So if I double click this here, we then open up the dashboard. I'll make this a little bigger and we'll zoom in a little. And what we can see here is we have a large option of advanced C Sharp examples. So if I wanna find out how to add the barcode to a PDF, I click that here and they give me a code snippet where I can pretty much copy paste this into any console application and it will work. It also shows you how to work with all their types of barcodes and it also provides you with screenshot samples. If I want to figure out how to generate a barcode from a database, I can click this down here and it provides me with an entire code snippet on how to accomplish that. Now, for those of you who aren't C Sharp enthusiasts, don't be alarmed because we also have the same amount of options here for VB.NET. Moving forward, we also have ASP.NET. 
So it'll show you how to use this in ASP, working with SSRS reports, um, Crystal reports too, which I found really refreshing or interesting rather. Um, it shows you how to work with Crystal reports. I wanted to do an example on that, but I have Visual Studio 2017. So uh, that unfortunately Crystal is not working with that. We also have Delphi, JavaScript, and just a large amount of options. For example, the Word document here. Actually, you should probably get the C Sharp. I have a Word document here, and this is actually what I used for the tutorial that we'll be following. I really wish I could go through all of this documentation and show you what they have, but I think as you can see, um, pretty much if you're looking to do something, you probably will find it in their documentation. So if you guys are interested, I suggest you move on to the next video where we're actually going to use their component to create a barcode generator in WPF. Also stay tuned because thanks to Byte Scout, I am able to give away three free cloud APIs provided by them for six months. Now with this web API, you're not only able to do the barcode generation and barcode reading, but we also have PDF functions in it as well. If you want to take a better look at this cloud API, you can visit it in the description. And at the end of my following videos, I will be providing three free API subscriptions for six months to those of you who continue to support and watch my content.